this video we're going to look at connecting cadence to external gear. Firstly we're going to use it to process an external oscillator. I'm using oscillator 8 as a clock and sending this to the 4MS rotating clock divider. I'm then taking the clock divider's first output and connecting this to the expert sleeper's distinct clock in, which is set to output a quantized control voltage. This is then sent to the volt per octave in on the Moritz Klein VCO. Cadence's oscillator C is then replaced with the square wave from the VCO using the external input switch. With all Cadence's oscillators in sync, we can then experiment with Cadence's settings. I'm using the rotating clock divider's second output to trigger an envelope generator to control Cadence's filter cutoff. This really is about experimenting with different sound sources. Thank <laughs> you. 
This time we're using Cadence as a gate generator. I have different samples loaded on each channel of Rampal, which is set to randomly select samples when it receives a gate. We can send each of Cadence's oscillators to individual pre-filter outputs. Each oscillator is connected to Rampal's gate inputs and set to a slower rate using the count switch. sync switches to the right of cadence reset the oscillators. For example, when oscillator B is synced to A, B will reset when A is high. Here Cadence will perform a couple of different tasks. I'm triggering drum sounds with Pamela's new workout.
I'm replacing oscillator A with my kick drum trigger, sending it through count, then routing it to its own output back to the kick drum input. Cadence's other oscillators are pulled in time as they are all synced to one another and are all sent to Cadence's main output. I'm using an envelope from Pam's new workout to modulate the filter cutoff. I'll also connect oscillator D's output to a low pass gate and into a delay so that I can route oscillator D to the main out or its own output through the LPG. This time we're running the oscillators at audio rates and sending each oscillator to a separate channel on the mixer. We could send individual oscillators to different effects. Here we're just using the mixer to pan the oscillators slightly and add some onboard reverb from the mixer. Again, using the sync switches, we can get the oscillators to interact with each other. Mm -hmm. 